Good. Okay. Good. What's up? Why right, going back to your last fight, man? Obviously, that was a big win for you. Not necessarily. Uh, that or no, not. <laughs> not necessarily. Things weren't necessarily going your way the entire fight. But what are your thoughts on that fight? And what 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 lessons did you take out of that one? Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't uh, too happy with my world performance, but of course I was very happy uh, that I seized the opportunity and got the finish when I when when I had the opportunity. So I thought the first round went okay, uh, except I got taken down and. But he wasn't doing much. Uh, he was just trying to hold me down. I, I heard him good with a kick early in the round. Uh, the second round, I couldn't really find my rhythm. Couldn't get my groove on, and uh, I was getting tackled a little bit too much. But um, I knew coming in third that uh, I, should, I should probably get a finish, and, uh, and I'm glad I got the opportunity. I'm glad that I could seize on it, and uh, that's why I'm content on doing in all my fights. I'm tired of judges' decisions, and. Uh, I'm here to finish fights. Yeah, you've had some tough, tough decisions in the past. So is, is that kind of a big thing to you now? Is making sure that they don't get an opportunity to, to rule your career. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to go to judges' decision. You know, they, they can, uh, they can. Sometimes you don't know, you don't know what they decide on. It, it can, it can be hard to, to figure out what's going on in their heads. But uh, now we got five rounds, so that should give me plenty of time to so get the finish in. So much hype around, around Jake right now and uh, what he's been doing lately. Is that provide you extra motivation going into this to kind of put a stop to his run? I think uh, he's done great. You know, he's beaten two, two uh, good guys, you know. But uh, uh, I don't know much about the guys who's he fought before. You know, but I mean, um, he's, he's got a good run, but uh, it's gonna be a short night. What do you think about it? I mean, it seems like uh, maybe the biggest fight of your career. I mean, this one's like a very, very meaningful fight. Is it? I mean, is it a special fight, or is it just another fight for you? Of course, it's a special fight. You know, this is right here in Las Vegas where I live, and it's the main event. So. I'm pumped for this fight, and uh, the winner should be up there getting close to a title shot. So I'm pumped for this fight, and come Friday night, I'll, I'll show you. I've worked my ass off to go in there and whoop his ass. You said up there close. I mean, a lot of people think this probably should be a number one contender fight. Well, I mean, what are your thoughts? Is it obviously you got the, the interim belt and all that stuff going on? I mean, what, what's your evaluation? I think of the this should be a number one contender fight. Um, I fought some of the best guys in the multiweight division, and Jake's beating some good guys, and uh, lately in been on a good tear as well. So um, I definitely think this should be a number one contender fight. But it's all up in the air because of GSP's injury and Ghana with the interim belt. So nobody really knows what's going on. Everything depends on when GSP is going to be back and fighting. You know? and, um, I don't know when he's going to be ready. And uh, of course, if, if he's going to be ready soon, I would, uh, being conned, I would wait for that fight to unify the titles. But if he's, if he's going to be out for a lot longer, then maybe Connor should fight. There's a lot of uh, ifs and buts, so uh, we don't know. But uh, I'm focused on beating the Jake Ellenberger, and I definitely think uh, Tyler Shaw be next. I'm ready for it. A lot of people point to his wrestling as the key for him beating you, but you seem like a guy that has developed great wrestling that people never seem to give you credit for. You're always the, the Danish striker guy or whatever. So what are your thoughts? I mean, how do you match up in the wrestling department? Do you think you know you can keep this fight on the feet? I don't know why people keep labeling, labeling what do you call that? I don't know. Labeling? Labeling <laughs> me as a striker, you know. I, I, I had a lot of uh, striking victories in TKO and KO victories before coming into UFC, but most of my wins in the UFC, I've, I've submitted guys. You know, I have, a, I have a solid ground game, and I think, you know, if Jake decides to try to take me down, I think it's going to be a real short night for him. I'm submitting him real quick. Uh, I think his dangerous, most dangerous asset is his heavy hands. That's that's what I'm uh, watching out for the most. Uh, he's got real heavy hands, commits a lot to his punches, so uh, that's what I got to watch out for. Uh, I can take a good punch. I'm not worried about it, but of course I got to make him miss, got to make him pay. That's the plan. But uh, if he tries to take me down. It's, it's going to be a really short night. I feel my jiu-jitsu is way better than his, and, and uh, he's got a lot of ground, uh, game, holes in his ground game that I can exploit on. So, if it hits the ground, it's going to be a short night for him. You just turned 30, right? 30 years old. Yeah. 30 is years young. Yeah. Is there any kind of, I mean, is there any kind of milestone for you in your career, or any like, hey, this is a turning point, or is it just a, just a birthday for you? Uh, it's, a, it's a birthday, of course. I wish it was 25, but I mean, uh, I like being 30. I feel good. I feel strong. I feel, I feel, I feel good. I feel I'm, I'm, I'm better now. I've whooped my ass at 25, but 
but still, uh, you know, just having so much time to fight. So. I feel good at 30. Is there a sense of urgency now that, like you said, there's only so much time, like, I gotta get this done now? There's a sense of urgency. Um, I mean, I'm on the right path, and uh, come Friday night, beating Jay Gellenberger's at uh, I'll be more better on the. I'm messing up now. We're just doing things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm out on that. <laughs> I'm very well prepared. Uh, one thing to show that shape. All right, thanks, Mike. Cool. Let's see what. Thank you.